Okay, so hi to everyone. This is Fido Dark and welcome to Free Space 2. Or Free Space, yeah. <laughs> we are gonna see it, yeah. So I'm going to play this uh, game, which is a combat simulation uh, kind of game, yeah. Uh, first person shooter in space. It's very similar to Descent and X Wing Alliance. Yeah, so Descent 1, 2, 3, I think. Are uh, where games like this, X Wing Alliance, Tie Fighter, Wing Command, uh, Wing Commander, or something like that. Yeah, so this is an old style game. This kind of genre is basically dead at the moment, I would say. Um, hopefully, it will be revived soon. Well, most of there are several people dedicated to these other games still, and they. And since they source codes, uh, well, in most for most games like this got released, uh, there some people got together uh, into a team, and basically they started to improve the graphics engine of these games. Now, for this, now let's talk about Free Space 2. So Free Space 2, um, as you can see, it's a 1999 game. Free Space 1 was in 1995, I think, or something like that. So this is a sequel uh, of that game, and basically, uh, since uh, well, Volition planned a sequel, Free Space 3, but it never got uh, um, uh, coded or made because Free Space 1 and 2 were not commercially successful, and the company decided not to continue the series, which is a shame, by the way, because this game is actually known for a lot of for a lot of. Uh, uh, like gamers still so yeah so after free space 2 was not made the volition so basically volition i think interplay who owns the ip i'm not I'm not 100 percent sure still about that they released they released the source code of this game and some group of programmers dedicated to this game got together and they formed the hard light productions net forum i think and they uh, decided to improve the graphics of this game. So basically, they created the SCP project. So the source code project, SCP project. So they created the source code project, which basically aims to improve the graphics um, of this game and extend its replayability by creating new campaigns, uh, mods, uh, etc. And yeah, I think that's what I wanted to talk about it, more or less. So basically, I've installed Free Space to open. This is basically up the upgraded ex executable. Uh, there's also a newly made launcher for the game, and I'm trying to use the latest one, this 3.8.0 uh, AVX uh, optimized version. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, basically, I'm using the optimized version, Windows 7, uh, Windows 64-bit uh, binaries. So yeah. Um, I get to, I basically managed to set up, well, it, it took me some time to set up everything and get all the mods, all the latest stuff, and yeah, <laughs> to to get everything set up. Uh, I already created a pilot and I messed up the name, yes, <laughs> instead of Z, it's Y, <laughs> and I can't change it, so I could only create a new pilot, but uh, uh, after checking the Hardlight Productions forum and the uh, latest stuff, uh, it seems to be that the pilot system is not really working well, it's crashing or anything. So yeah, um, uh, hopefully I, I think I can play this game without any issues. I, I'm expecting issues though. So yeah, um, what else needs to be said? This video is going to be a test more or less. Uh, well, I'm not going to play, so there, there, there are original campaigns. I'm not going to start playing the original campaign yet, but fun made campaigns, one or two I think, and then I think I will start to play the original campaign, just in case. Uh, I know this going pretty well, I played it countless of times, so Free Space 1, and 2, 1 was actually one of my first, I think it was actually the first PC game that I ever played. Yeah, and I, and I really, really liked it. So. Uh, even the older graphics and everything, I liked everything in that uh, in that game. And actually, um, I should mention to the if anyone from that community from the um, Hard Life Production Net watches this. Yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> well, if anyone does it, uh, thanks for that. Uh, this game is like means a lot to me because actually you you probably won't believe it, 
may or may not believe it, but the English of this game, so the, the English level of this game actually helped me a lot to learn English. So I can, it's very, uh, very absurd to say when a game helps in real life, but it actually did. Because when I started to play this, when I was like six or seven years old, I picked up a lot of words from English grammar, everything, many things. Naturally, I can thank to this game that uh, I can speak English. Uh, I think for the definite most of it. So, so yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to say. And the second thing is that uh, um, there is one issue in the game which I think, uh, I think, uh, I think it was not really talked. About. I should be, I should write create a topic in the Hardline Productions that that in this game the ships when something something uh, destructs so a larger ship uh, is being uh, destructed or just blowing up the ships are not running from the shock wave in free space one they do but in free space two they don't now maybe maybe i will open the topic uh, to fix that issue i'm not sure if it's an issue or if it's intended but uh, we, uh, in free space one they are running from the shock wave but in free space two they the AI does not uh, try to run away from the shockwave, which is interesting. So I think that's one issue that might might, might not might be forgotten. Or yeah, I just wanted to mention this. So uh, I'm gonna show you my settings here. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I disabled the music. I mean, I turned the music off. The music of this game is really really good, but due due to the loudness of this game. It's really, really loud, so uh, the, the game, the sound of this game is, is strange because uh, yeah, it's really loud, especially the beam cannons and everything. So I turned turn it off. I also kept the effects and voice um, um, as much as limited as possible. If I set this to the second level, the effects and vo I think uh, the voice, yeah, then not all voices get played. I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, never mind. So I'm playing with a mouse, I don't have a joystick currently, so the gameplay is not going to be that uh, good, sorry for that, just, such, just as like with Extreme Alliance. I pull the sensitivity bit on the maximum, so this would be the joystick settings, but yeah, uh, I'm going to use the medium skill level. So I, I like the medium the best, a hard is really, a hard is hard. So the difficulty in this game, the easy is very easy, is uh, very easy. Easy is also easy, medium is, is a bit more challenging. And hard is actually hard. So an insane is insane. Uh, uh, I don't. The only negative I can say about this game is really difficulties. I don't like the way that they made the game harder for you. Because if you just increase the skill level to the more and more, then your energy levels and everything are just uh, you have less energy available, and I just don't like it. So I like the fact that the maneuverability is better for the AI, but still. So and the weapon firing. Uh, the firing, the speed of the weapon firing is um, faster, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it on medium. Maybe I will try hard and on one or two missions. I'm not, I'm not really sure yet. Brightness is gonna stay as this. I basically don't change anything on the config. Uh, I like green, so I like the HUD uh, to be the heads-up display on green. Um, I forgot what this is. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep everything as is. Um, multiplayer, well, <laughs> I need to find someone to play with, because, yeah, everything is maximum, but I think these don't really matter, I'm not entirely sure. You can set the graphics in the in the v WX launcher, which is like a unified launcher, a new uh, SCP-made launcher for this game. A control config, uh, when I was five or six years old, I, <laughs> I, I don't know how I learned the controls, but yeah, I, I learned it somehow. <laughs> Yeah, I really played this game when I was like seven or eight, probably. <laughs> briefing voice is on. Oh yes, the briefing voice is gonna be interesting because I installed Microsoft Sand, which I like, and I'm gonna use it for many campaigns, which are like fun made. So I'm gonna play Incursion first, okay? So Incursion is gonna be uh, the first campaign that I'm going to play. This is a fun made campaign, which I really, really like, and there is another one. So I think I'm gonna play these two. Uh, there is no voice uh, made acting in this game, uh, voice acting in this game, uh, in this campaign. So, yeah, I'm gonna use Microsoft Sandwich. I think it's still decent, more or less. Affectionately um, nicknamed the Bad Bites Pilots. It sounds like GDF this. You're listening <laughs> to the well designed craft and has had a far longer full life than it's. I think it's still okay and it's funny anyway, so yeah. Um, 
to be a barracks you can set up pilots here and all of that uh, you can exit here um, yeah I think I think uh, I'm gonna dedicate this video just to be uh, like introduction for this game so not here sorry but if you go here here we have the ships and everything and cutscenes um, I'm gonna play the first cutscene okay so uh, but actually I should not to be honest maybe I should not because uh, the original campaign uh, is basically starting with this introduction and I think incursion sets after the original the storyline of incursion uh, um, is um, uh, it takes place after the this so yeah in credits you can also see uh, from me uh, I mean the original artwork which is really, really good I really like the original artwork of this game I my father used to draw the ships to me so my favorite ships so basically nicknamed the bad vibes pilots affects the gd in 2360 for example i like Hawaii this ship command commissioned the first of the gd hack shepsuit class destroyers to the sudan contractor rocky design okay so to give you a quick introduction so before i'm not i'm not gonna play the original campaign yet since i would like to use this incursion campaign as a test so what happens is that uh, we have the terrans the humans who in free space one they fought against the Vasudans, but the third uh, species came which, which are called shivans and these guys the shivans try to wipe out both races uh for unknown reasons so yeah uh, this this game takes place in the future in 2360 something like that so there are advanced ships there is hyperspace here which is called subspace so here hyperspace is going to be subspace there are jump nodes so jump modes where you can um, jump into another system etc well uh, this game takes place in one system that would have been nice in free space 3 to have to be able to jump into multiple systems uh, i like that in extreme alliance and this is the only negative thing i don't like about this about free space that you can't access new systems in one mission but not a problem so not a not an issue at all so in Free Space 1, the, the Shiv uh, Shivans got defeated by destroying the capital ship, which is called Lucifer. And basically, in Free Space 2, the two races got united, uh, etc. In Free Space 1, they were in wars. So the Vasudans and Terrans were in war, but they got united against the common enemy. Um, and in Free Space 2, um, there was there was a new kind of uh, a new threat. Uh, so there were also the Shivans and there was a new threat called the NTF which is like a rebellious uh, faction of the GTVA so the GTVA is the United Faction of Terrans and the Sudans the NTF got defeated but uh, more or less yeah <laughs> and the Shivans came back and they basically destroyed everything using uh, uh, the later ship which we are going to see in this campaign which is like killing everything <laughs> it's overpowered yeah more or less Okay, so this is what uh, this is what you need to know about the story more or less. I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the more uh, more later on, but for the time being that's enough. So yeah, uh, sorry for the cringy gameplay again and and cringy commentary. I just don't want to waste so much time. I've already wasted so much time on the on the um, game, and it's, I think it's very uncommon to start playing the start playing uh, the with the not with the original campaign this is the system map so i mean the network of uh, systems it looks kind of this the universe is excellent so the universe of this game is genius so and the story as well it would have been it would have been nice to have a film or movie about this so i think uh, it would have become something like uh, star wars even anyway so this is the first video i'm not gonna launch the game uh, I mean the first mission of, of the incursion campaign so just dedicate this video as an introduction so thank you guys for watching this sorry for the so for the long talk so I'm gonna start playing this game so see you guys in the next video